So you got a little bit of extra time on your hands and you're looking for a show to binge watch on Netflix or Amazon. Well, gents, I got you covered because in today's video, over 25 stylish TV shows that every man should watch and learn from. First up, we've got Netflix's Ozark. So if you're in the money laundering, this show is for you. And if you're in the casual style, Jason Bateman is doing a great job, tons of great looks. And what I like about this is nothing really here super dressed up, a lot of great simple looks that you can wear to the office if you're still going into the office or just simply wear around the house and feel good about yourself. And pay attention to the fit because the items we're seeing, the outfits we're seeing put together, nothing really special about them, but the fit is spot on. Next up, we've got Sons of Anarchy, which you can find over on Hulu, six seasons of it. What I love about this show, if you want a casual yet rugged biker look, this is the show for me. So you're not going to always pull this off. But if this is your style, if you want to look for little bits of how you can give that tough guy type of look, if that's your style, go check out this show. So I'm not going to say that it's for everybody, but if you like leather jackets, you like a bit of violence and drugs, check out this show. Next up, we've got HBO's True Detective, and I absolutely love the soundtrack, especially on season one. The visuals are just spot on. It's a little bit gritty. It's a little bit Southern, but you're going to see some familiar actors here. We got Matthew McConaughey. You're going to see Woody Harrelson. You're going to see Colin Farrell, and these guys do not disappoint with their looks, with their outfits. If you like a little bit of violence, if you like cop movies, this is for you. Next up, we've got Netflix's House of Cards. Kevin Spacey, Michael Kelly, these guys know how to pull off a suit, especially a suit that sends the signal of power, that sends the signal of this is what a top level White House guy is going to wear. So check it out if you're in the suits, if you're in the power suits. Next up, we've got Amazon Prime's The Boys. I have to admit, this is a guilty pleasure. And what I like about this, especially things that are a little bit more sci-fi, a little bit more outlandish, is you can see a look that you really like and you can bring it in. Now, I'm not going to say you can dress like the Homelander, but I am saying that, hey, well, you could, I guess, dress like the Homelander, especially if he had his powers and his kind of messed up personality. But let's look at all the regular characters here. We just got some really nice looks from the jackets to the hair. Again, if you watch it from this perspective of style, all of a sudden you start getting some ideas of things that you can bring into your wardrobe to add a bit of flair. Next up, we've got Only Fools and Horses. This show ran for almost 20 years. A lot of people in the States haven't ever heard of it, but let's go check out Del Boy. What are we looking for? Look at the outlandish style that he's able to bring in from the flat cap. Yes, look at that cap right there to the shearling jacket to mixing it with bright colors. If you're looking for a style that's going to help you stand apart, something that's a little bit outlandish, this is the show for you. Next up, we've got the marvelous Miss Maisel. So, the, yes, the main character is a woman, but look at the supporting cast. So many great looking men and inspiration pieces you can take from the 1950s. You're going to find this over on Amazon Prime, a really fun, just good show. And uh, yeah, if you can get your wife to watch it with you and you guys watch it together. Now, what you're looking at is picking up styles and details from all the supporting characters, all the different looks. Next up, we've got Justified over at Hulu, Timothy Oliphant. What I love about this show right here, you got a U.S. Marshal wearing the Western cap, the Canadian tuxedo, and pulling this look off. So if you've always wanted to bring in Western wear, you wanted, basically you felt you were a cowboy at heart, but you're wondering, how can I dress this way in modern day looks? This is the show for you. Next up, we've got Billions featuring Damian Lewis. Now there's a whole supporting cast here and there's a lot of different looks, but what I like is the fun casual styles. Yeah, we see these guys dress up in suits, but we also see them have fun with their casual style. And again, the costume department with this show really is on point. Tons of great ideas, tons of very interesting, some pretty bad looks, but also some fun ones. So if you're looking for inspiration, go check this out. Next up, we've got Californication. And if you're looking for casual outfits, which we're going to attract the ladies, this is the show for you. So the main character here, Hank Moody, this guy has a substance abuse issues. He's a writer. Everyone's a writer in LA, but he is still able to go out there and just be a complete womanizer throughout this movie. So if you want to be entertained, you want to have a little bit of fun and get a good laugh, this is a great show. And it's got really good writing. And again, I just love all the different casual outfit ideas you can take from this show. Next up, we've got Mr. Selfridge featuring Jeremy Piven. And this is set at the beginning of the 20th century. So, you know, going back in time here. And what I love about this, look at all the great outfits. So yeah, the main actor, he's doing a great job, especially with contrasting vests right there. But what else do we see? Let's look around. Just the supporting cast, they nail it. Again, I love these great costume departments with all these shows coming in and giving us a peek into a time period and also giving us inspiration for our own outfits. And for our next show, let's stick with the same time period, but go over to the United States. 
Boardwalk Empire. So this is all about gangster life in the 1920s. We've got Steve Buscemi with a great supporting cast and we just really see how these guys, they've got money. They realize they're on top of the game. They don't know if this world's going to last forever and the outfits reflect that. A lot of great hats here. That's what I love with these shows, especially the time period ones. You get to see all these different hats. You see them play with color at the same time, being able to actually wear the clothing that conforms to the day. So many great inspirations here for a great show. Next up, we've got James Rode in Dual Hill in the buddy comedy Psych. So throughout this show, what do we see? Great casual outfit ideas and how these things actually work in the real world. So again, you're looking for something that's beyond the suit, not as, not as dressed up, not as formal. This is going to be the show for you. And these guys actually have some pretty strong watch game as well. Next up, we've got the Kaminsky method with Alan Arkin and Michael Douglas. What I like about this, if you're a guy in your 50s, 60s, 70s, this is the show for you how to still dress with style. Yeah, a lot of older guys, they're finding their colors are changing, their skin's changing. Everything is about seasons. And these guys not only nail it with the colors, but actually show you how to bring in fun things like scarves, hats. So if you're looking for style inspiration for an older man, this is your show. Next up, we've got Hannibal was on for two seasons. You can find it over on Amazon Prime. If you want to watch a serial killer with style, this is your show. So what I like about a lot of the outfits, a lot of the suits that we see, See, there's not a lot of solids, although from a distance they look solid. You get up close, you see the use of patterns. You see him bringing in the three piece suit, even black tie. What I love again about this show is that they have fun with something that looks normal on the outside, but once you look underneath, yeah, it's anything but. Speaking of serial killers, let's talk about Michael C. Hall in Dexter. I think this one went on for about seven years. Tons of great casual outfit ideas. Yeah, he's even got a particular killing outfit. Anyone for a Henley? You know what I'm talking about if you've watched this show. Really cool how we've just got tons of different ideas here. He likes the monochromatic look. At the same time, he's not afraid to, you know, get a little bit dirty wearing his clothing. Next up, we've got White Gold available on Netflix. It's a British comedy a lot of Americans haven't watched. If you want to get a peek into the 1980s, what window salesmen were wearing, guys, this is the show for you. Yeah, who would have expected these guys could pull off double-breasted suits like they are? But overall, I think actually the fit, they nail a bit better than they probably did in the 1980s. And overall, again, the costume department does a great job. So if you like suits, you like double-breasted, this is the show for you. Next up, we've got Idris Elba in the British crime drama Luther. What what I like about this is Idris's use of layers. So he makes things interesting because yeah, just clothing with one layer, that's okay. But how he brings in layer after layer from overcoats to his tweed jackets to the shirts, the entire combinations right there really work, especially if you've got darker colored skin, basically that type of complexion. Look at the color in the way that he's able just to make things pop a great show for style. Next up, we've got 30 Rock, which you can stream right now over on Amazon Prime. So it's got Alec Baldwin, Tina Fey, a great supporting cast. And if you're looking how to wear a suit, this is a great show for you, but it's got some also amazing quotes. So Tina Fey, she's asking Alec Baldwin, is that a tuxedo? He's like, yeah, it's after 6 p.m. What am I, a farmer? Now, nothing against farmers. They make things happen, but he understands that there's a place and a time for wearing black tie. After 6 p.m., whenever you want to get dressed up and set the ambiance, yeah. 30 Rock, great show. Next up, we've got Matthew Bomber in White Collar. You can stream this over on Hulu. And if you like Thomas Crown Affair, you're going to love this show. Tons of great suits, a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of mischief, a little bit of things getting stolen, but a great show when it comes just to suit fit. And again, a great supporting cast. Love the ladies in this show as well, but it's the men, again, that we're checking out the way that they're wearing those suits, the colors that they're wearing, and the fit spot on. Next up, we've got How I Met Your Mother, which you can stream over at Hulu. So, nine seasons. And what's the character that I most love? Of course, the legendary Barney Stinson, played by Neil Patrick Harris. This guy, he brought two. I mean, everyone now knows suit up because of this character. And what I like about it is he always had the confidence to dress the way he wanted to. Did, yeah, no one else around him was wearing a suit, but he's wearing a suit because he understands it gives him a leg up. It projects the message he wants to project. So if you're looking for just a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of comedy, a great show. Next up, we've got Lucifer featuring Tom Ellis. So I was a little bit upset. I thought they were going to cancel the show. And thankfully, Netflix brought it back, got out a new season. And yes, Lucifer, it's a fun show if you like supernatural type of stuff. And it is a great show if you're looking for a guy that really knows how to rock a great looking suit, a great style. And speaking of the supernatural, let's talk about the show Supernatural. I'm going to add it to this list simply because I think the main characters do a great job with their outerwear. 
Dean Winchester, yeah, that leather jacket, the fatigue jacket makes him look like a badass. Castiel, he's got that trench coat along with the tie and the other. Yeah, it, he just looks really good for an angel. And then you've got Sam. Sam knows how to pull off plaid. And this last reason, which has nothing to do with style, they did a crossover with Scooby-Doo, which in my book makes them friggin' awesome. Next up, we've got Boston Legal. You can stream this over on Hulu. Now, if you want a master class on how to dress conservatively for a law firm, this is the show for you. Next up, we've got Don Johnson and Philip Michael Thomas in Miami Vice. You want a show that defines the time period, the 1980s, Miami, Florida? This is the show for you. So, we see Tubbs. What is he pulling off here? Double-breasted jackets. Doesn't matter the weather. The guy is still looking stylish, looking good. Crockett, what's he pulling off? Single-breasted jackets. Lighter colors, having fun with some brighter color with the shirts and leaving the front unbuttoned. Now, if you want things simple, as in drawn out, then you want to check out Archer Sterling in the show Archer. So, it's an illustrated comedy and what I love about this, it's been around for 10 years. This show is funny, but it's also something that you can see the power of a daily uniform. Next up, we've got Downtown Abbey. You can stream it over on Amazon Prime. This show was on for five years. And again, this has so many great examples of style that you can learn from. Yeah, it's a set piece and it's something that was set in a time period that you may say a lot of this stuff is outdated, but just watch the show and you're going to be able to see all of these great little bits of inspiration. So many great looks, so many great outfits. Speaking of retro style, we've got Cillian Murphy playing Tommy Shelby in the show Peaky Blinders. Amazing. If you want to look at how to wear a flat cap, how to wear a newsboy, this is the show for you. How to accessorize with a suit, all the different things you can bring in from the pocket watch to little bits of jewelry here or there, great piece. And how in when you're wearing a suit, if it fits you properly, that you can still, yeah, put your fists up and you can make things happen with them. A great show if you like that kind of stuff. The next stylish TV show that you want to binge, Suits. You can find it over on Hulu and when we're watching Suits, who are we watching? Harvey Specter. The guy has tons of great quotes and what I love with his confidence, what I love with his brains is how he matches it up with his image and his style. Impeccable suits by Tom Ford and the fit on these suits is spot on. Now, you're going to see a wide variety of outfits with the supporting cast and what I also like about this show is they paid attention to the details. So, look at the accessories, look at the shoes, you're going to find that they were spot on. Next up, we've got Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman in Sherlock. So, this is the show that put Benedict Cumberbatch on the map and it's a great show and what I love about this, much like the character, is from the outside, it looks simple. But once you start to look at their outfits, the clothing pieces they're putting together, you realize these are complex from the headwear to the outerwear to the lace that they use and they use great use of patterns, great use of different materials. So, look at the details, pay attention to the style and you'll look at the show with new eyes. And coming in at number one, gentlemen, no surprise here, we've got Mad Men. Set in the 1950s going into the 1960s, this show set the standard for what a costume department could do, how to inspire just millions of men to dress better. Now, morally, you could say, yeah, the show is a little bit bankrupt there, but when it comes down to writing, when it comes down to acting, John Hamm, John Slattery, I love what they did with it and especially if you want to see just a wide variety of different supporting characters bringing in their own unique style, tons to look at if you watch the show from a style perspective. So, what video to watch next? How about my top pick for movies when it comes to style? If you haven't seen this list, you want to go check it out. I go over 30 movies that I think are incredibly stylish that every man should check out.